Um, so I just wanted to make a quick update on my tarantulas. Uh, since I just got back from a reptile expo a few hours ago, um, and I decided to pick up like two uh, old world species. One's a C. Huahini, and the other is a T. Insigni. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's um, this one is an like unknown species. Um, C. Yeah, C. C. Insignis. Um, I haven't been able to find any information on it, so um, but I'll just keep on searching. Uh, so <laughs> it's um. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be like lots of fun, and I'm really excited to get started with the old world species as well. Um, well, let me show you real quick. So here we got the Asian form, the Si Huahini. Um, really quick and real, def extremely defensive uh, teas. They get quite a big leg span, um, and this one's approximately two, two and a half years old. So, and enclosure for it, make sure that you get a lot of like corks and some twigs and stuff like that so they can, because they're quite heavy webbers. Um, and this is not, I would not recommend this one for beginners or for handling, uh, since all world species doesn't have, <coughs> doesn't have educating hairs, which means that they, uh, they will bite in the fence, they, they won't flick their hairs or anything, and they got quite some got quite a concentrated venom um which means and um, no they ha they're not really that keen of of the effects of a bite from a old world species yet um so you gotta be extra cautious when you get one um and the other one that i got was as i said the tea in sickness um and i think I believe it's a it's an unknown species it's right there um, real beautiful colors. It's quite reddish, brownish, um, and it's actually in the uh, tarantula dwarf, like dwarf tarantula family. So it doesn't really get that much bigger. I would, I would like put, uh, try to get it out, but since it's an old world, I, I don't want to risk getting a bite since they could be quite nasty uh, biters. So um, yeah. Uh, and they're also quite heavy webbers, uh, just like every other old world species. Um, so yeah. But I think I might just try and feed this today. You know, try to give it some crickets. I got two. I I get uh, lots, lots, and, and lots of crickets. Like uh, twenty pounds for both of these. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's actually, and, and it's really a really good like investment in these because I could also start like um, breeding them and stuff so I keep it so I, like got lots of them I'm going to keep it keep it keep them um, in this one these uh I don't know what you call them plastic boxes just um just for now uh and yeah so there's pretty much that um if, if you got any like information on the tea and sickness uh feel free to comment down below um, what, what their, like, normal name is, not, not the, uh, Latin name, authentic name for it, um, because I would really love to get some more information on them, because I don't know if they're, like, venom, like, no, poison is, or, no, bleh, venom is, sorry about that, um, so, since it's an old world, I know it's got, as I said, got quite some concentrated venom, um, so yeah, but thanks for watching guys, and remember to comment down below, subscribe and like if you feel like it. <laughs> so yeah, have a nice day, bye.